Hello everyone, this is H to the Husky Husky here. We are on game number three of our showmanship match brought to you by Tagalicious. We are going to have a link down in the description. While this video is loading up, go check it out right now. It will be a, basically our sponsor is the same person who made iRip and they want to see more show matches like this. They love StarCraft 2. So yeah, anyways, game number three and currently Team America, QXC and Artosis are actually down two games. So HD, this is not looking good for the good old United States. Yeah, I guess you could call it a Team America versus Team Europe if you wanted to. And in this case right now, Team Europe, which is also known as TL, is currently up 2-0. and And of course, when you're up 2-0 and and you're down 0-2, well, if you're down 0-2, your confidence probably isn't doing all that well. As TLO and, and, and uh, Jinro have actually had some pretty epic games in the last two games, but they did win in the last two battles. And we're going to see if they can hold out and 3-0 knock out their opponents in this next set. Okay, and he, and he did spawn as Protoss TLO, so I think I'm almost 100% certain that he's going to be Protoss for any future games in this uh, whole best of five series. And I do want to mention that no matter the score, they actually agreed to play the five games. So, I mean, the winner is still going to be the first one of three, but they're going to play five games regardless of what happens. And so what we saw last game was basically TLO getting force fed a bunch of minerals from Genro and it ended up working as they were basically they just pushed out with a bunch of Protoss units. So Artos is not going to be happy about that. Is he going to change his game plan? I think so. Getting that early spawning pool, which is really common in two versus two. Yeah, I don't think we're going to see that same strategy where Jinro force feeds his teammate. And the reason for that is because it's easy to do when you're on a shared base map. But on, if you're on a map like this, you don't really share bases and you still have to cover your own butt. So Jinro's going to have to basically fend for himself. He's not going to be able to just macro up, send all your money over to the little one's way and have the little one do the dirty work. So this game, we're probably going to see more standard play from all four players. I'm interested to see what the players are going to come up with. And I think the fact that Artosis is Zerg and his teammate is Protoss, once again, going to allow them to get some early game pressure out. And we'll see what player they decide to attack first. I think they have have realized the last two games that they've lost a macro war, especially in game number one. So it looks like QXC going to get two gateways here, and there is a Baneling Nest already on the way for Artosis. So they are definitely looking to do an early attack here. Look at the six Zerglings on the way. The two Zealots are going to be marching out here across the map pretty soon. So it's going to be, you know, an early start to this game. Artosis and QXE looking like they're going to try some kind of early game pressure. Like you said, we're probably going to see some kind of baneling bust, but whereas it was different from Metalopolis, we're probably going to see a much earlier one this game because Artosis has that very, very quick baneling's nest. Now it looks like they're making their way down south towards Jinro or the little one's base, and this could do a lot of damage because the little one right now only has two zealots, and the baneling's can bust through that pretty darn easily. And if they get up there, the little one's going to be in a lot of trouble. Jinro actually doesn't have that much forces to help his teammate out, and this is going to be really, really bad if the Banelings bust through. Jinro forced to pump out Hellions off with no add-ons. That's not what he wants to be doing with his build right now. So here comes the timing attack right now. Very early rush to try and take advantage of the lack of units right now. So they're going to try and get this ramp. It's going to come down to if the Banelings can do enough splash. There goes two Zealots, and two more are badly wounded. So I think they are going to break up in here. QXC now inside the, the little one's base with a lot of zealots, more zerglings flooding their way across the map. Looks like the little one trying to bring some probes over to reap. Oh no, he's actually going to position some pylons up here to protect this marine. I really like that. But at the same time, this serves two purposes because those gateways are now unpowered and you need to power up those gateways so that he can pump out more forces. And the little one is desperately trying to keep his probes alive, trying to run them out of harm's way. But unfortunately, the zealots inside his base going to start hammering away on this Nexus. The Nexus might possibly go down as the little one is desperately trying to remain alive, but his probes are just not mining during this entire fiasco. Jinro trying to micro these Hellions back and forth to clean up these Zealots, but I mean, they only do so much damage, and then every time the Zealot gets out of combat, their shields start to recharge very quickly, and so he doesn't have nearly the Hellions, and plus, since it is Europe versus America, probably a little bit of lag in this game anyways, but he was able to kill one Zealot, but three Zealots still in here, and no mining for the little one. Look at the amount of Zerglings on the map for Artosis, so I think this early aggression is really starting to pay off. 
definitely starting to pay off. QXC has killed several probes. And unfortunately, the Hellion's just not doing that much damage. Nice control there by the little one. Throwing up a force field to block the ramp, preventing reinforcements from coming in to continue this assault on the little one's base. Finally, Jinro microing with his two Hellions to get rid of those Zealots and another nice force field from the little one, preventing that attack from continuing on. I'm pretty sure that these sentries are actually stuck behind these pylons, so they're kind of like the gatekeepers. Their sole purpose is to just open and close that force field gate to keep the little one in the game, and it'll work for now, but I think they're so far behind at this point that it's going to be hard for them to catch back up, once again closing that gate. So the full map control going to Artosis and QXC with that early attack, so are they going to expand and try and macro up with the advantage, or are they going to try and end it early? I, it's up to them, it's just that they really can't get up either person's ramp, there's a wall in at the Terran, and those force fields at the Protoss, but I think they're just gonna start macroing up from here, and just, uh, try and drive it to a victory in a longer, longer game. Looks like Genro during this entire time actually went for a pretty fast Banshee, which is really nice since he had to control his Hellions and Micro that entire game. And look at this Banshee actually has six probe kills already, just hovering over the Protoss base, and it is cloaked. Cloak kicking in just in time to protect it against those Stalkers. Stalkers absolutely cannot do anything. There is no detection on the map right now, but finally the Overseer coming in from Artosis, helping out his teammates. Some nice teamwork right there getting rid of that Banshee, allowing QXE to go back to work. I like that attack because it kept the two offensive aggressive players, put them a little bit back in a defensive mindset. Now I think that is exactly what he needed to do to even keep his team in this game, but I mean TLO still has five less probes than QXE, so I would give the advantage still to Team America, but really that, that was good, getting that Banshee was good. You gotta remember though, he also lost the Banshee and they are not cheap and he does have another one on the way as well though. And it does look like Genro trying to move out with these Hellions, but they aren't gonna do that much against these Stalkers. Yeah, during that attack, actually, another Banshee was trying to do some damage over to Artosis' base. So Jinro is really spreading his Banshees all across the map, doing some nice economic damage, keeping the aggression uh, in a little bit more back and not allowing them, the enemy players, to push out and do the damage that they want to do, which is really, really good from Jinro right now, keeping some time and buying time for the little one to get back in this game. The little one now actually has a Void Ray out, so both players trying to do as much aggression as they can to counter the fact that the little one is suffering so badly from his economic losses. That is absolutely correct. They're basically trying to get these more fragile units. It's kind of a high risk, high reward type thing where if you can get a, you can get a couple void rays in a base where they're out of position, you can end up winning, but they definitely can't keep up in the macro on the ground. He even has some Phoenix on the way as well. And so here comes the void ray right now. Maybe gonna kill an overlord. I don't even know if he's actually gonna get that as there are stalkers in position to defend it. He did get the overlord. Not that huge of a deal though as the banshees didn't do too much damage. The void ray, same story there. So I still think they're definitely far behind after that initial attack. Still far, way far behind. Look at the little one though. He's actually been macroing his probes up fairly well and he's trying to recover himself back into this game. I think he's doing pretty decently, but at the same time, it's going to be tough for them to get back in this game because if you look at Artosis, he really can fast expand at any time. He's got a lot of drones. His army count looking pretty healthy as well. Currently at 58 supply. QXC currently at 64, Jinro only at 59, so Jinro really does need to start bulking up. He does have an expansion on the way right now, trying to secure that, and the little one at a measly 48. So while both players have been spending their money to catch up an income, their army size is definitely starting to take a hit, and we might see some Mutalists coming in here for Artosis, trying to do some damage and finish off the little one. I think these probes are exceptionally vulnerable. They realize it, so they're going to try and evacuate out of there. I think he's only 